All right, everyone. Uh, this is a way that I came up to remove these cush bushings on the sprocket side of a uh, spoked hub, RD400 hub that I'm going to use on my Daytona special. And uh, a lot of the forums, including over in the UK, I've checked everybody and I greatly appreciate what everybody came up with was to cut them out with a Dremel tool. And I've got those kind of tools because I've got a lot of experience with porting cylinder heads over the years. But I just didn't want to do, I didn't want to do that. I want to do something that was a little bit simpler, easier to do. So what I found was, and I've got the tools laid out here. I found that if you use a half by 13 thread, which is the, uh, you know, pretty standard, you find that thread pitch, you know, like this all thread here in any hardware store. It will go right down the inside of these and it just catches a little bit of a thread because the whole diameter is actually bigger than what you need for if you're going to do a proper tap of it. But this is all we need is just catch the threads enough to pull this out. Okay. The next thing I've taken is a piece of all thread, put a couple of nuts on the end, and then at this end here, I've actually rounded it down and given it a little bit of a crown edge to it so that when it goes down in there, it's not galling against the aluminum on the inside of the hub. Okay, And then, of course, the three-quarter inch wrench to drive it with. We want to use a little bit of thread cutting oil, make it really easy. Uh, we're, I use a burns o -matic. I've got a, a acetylene torch. With that, we'll go ahead and start. Going to add a little bit of threading cutting oil to it. And then you can see, because the whole diameter is larger than it should be, it lines up very well with the tap. And it's very easy to do. Just tap this down in there. And we're going to go all the way down until we we feel it stop or just before we run out of threads because we want the all thread to go all the way down in there and then also contact the bottom of the casting of the hub which it will use to push against to pull the actual cushion out. These are the damper cushions for the sprocket side of the hub. Now see I've actually lifted this a little bit so it means I've gone all the way to the bottom and the tap has actually hit the bottom of the well and now is forcing it out. Kind of like what we're going to do, exact same thing but with the all thread. So we'll go ahead and back this out. Go to the other side. It's popping. Just keep the heat on it and just crank this down just to keep it warmed up. And that's how hard it is to remove. That's it. And you can see with the burn matic when you have that instant trigger, it makes it really handy to be able to heat up in different areas as you move it from one place to the other. So you can see it's come out and there it is.